ladies and gentlemen of the internet and welcome to Foul Play. This is a brawler uh, that came out on Steam a while ago. I picked it up on one of the Christmas sales and I was just going through my Steam library and I'm like, oh, what is this? And I decided to play it and I'm going to show you guys what it's all about and what it really does. So apparently I lost all my saves in the game. Cause I did, I did get through like most of it uh, at some point when I bought the game. Uh, I didn't remember. I didn't remember the game. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is it. And then so I decided to play it. I played the first two levels, and I'm going to show you the act two of play one. And there is quite a few plays in this actually, uh, so that you can actually you know play. And they're divided into different acts and whatnot so those are pretty cool if you couldn't tell already this is set in a theater the entire game is set in a theater and you're playing as this guy uh, a very famous famous demon hunter uh, mr baron dashforth and basically this is a beat em up that really oh god i've Completely forgot how to play. This is a beat em up that's very, very, as you can see, stylized. And I gotta say, very fun at the same time as well. Because you do really play, uh, play in front of a live audience. As you can see, there's a live audience on the bottom of the screen there. That you can see. And they are really what sets the game up. Like, you can see the entire theater is just moving. There's constantly something happening. There's backdrops. There's theater lighting. There's different types of things happening and so all you do basically the entire game is you fight and you try to impress the audience as you can see in the top meter there uh, it's called the mudo meter and the more I impress the audience the better the better star rating I get and so the better the performance is as you can see I have to unlock the stars on the bottom of that meter there. You also have challenges to complete while you're playing and while you're doing all this stuff. The challenges are for this for this act here are throw uh, three enemies into breakable objects, perform two ace runs and perform three perfect scenes. Uh, I have no idea what an ace run is. I, I, <laughs> I don't think they really tutorialize that very well but a perfect scene is where you don't get hit and you perform you keep comboing until all the enemies are dead, so you don't break a combo until all the enemies in the, the, the scene are dead. And there's lots of dialogue, there's no voice acting, but there's lots of dialogue, and the dialogue is absolutely hilarious. The entire story is hilarious, I'm not going to spoil any of it, that's why I'm going quickly through the dialogue. Uh, because the story is hilarious, like, basically the, one of the main appeals of this entire game is the story and what it does. And how it, and there, I just activated a special combo move thing, so basically I get like quadruple points, I believe, for every hit and combo I perform. And as you can see, the better I do, the crowd goes crazy, throw their hats up, they start cheering, and they're like, "Oh my God, you're amazing! Oh my God, this is the greatest thing I ever saw!" There you go, as you can see there. And I'm actually doing quite a big combo here. And please don't lose it, don't lose it! Oh, I lost the combo. Dang it! But that was, that was, that was pretty good. I almost got a perfect scene there. So that's nice. Ba so basically, you cannot die in this game. There is no death, as this is all theatrical play. You do all, uh, all you do is punch people and they don't die. They just crawl off stage. Like the actors, they're all actors, so they all just crawl off stage after they get knocked out they look around and they crawl off the stage and same with you you, you cannot physically die uh, your I guess the failure of the game is when you perform a bad scene about as you can see the actor running down on the bottom of the screen now but the, the death in this game is when you perform a bad scene and you have to like actually I forgot how to reverse oh there it goes there we go you can do reversal combos and throw people into people and whatnot so that's always nice, but yeah, your death is like when you perform a bad scene, then you're like, oh no, this is horrible. But there is no real death, so the challenge of the game isn't that big. Like, basically, there's not much challenge in this game in terms of like other games, you know, you have, oh, you, you cannot die and whatnot. Here, there's not really, because you all you're trying to do is get a high score. This is a very much high score driven game. Uh, that really require. That's it. That it's a high score drink game that you 
you play to gain the biggest high score possible. And let me activate my ability that I got completely wasted there. There you go, throw a bunch of people around. Boom, boom, boom. Make it all nice. There you go, throw this guy there. Just combo it up. This is basically it. It's a brawler. I mean, if you haven't played a brawler before, then... I mean, who hasn't played the brawler? Everyone played the brawler. They're everywhere. Brawlers are... I mean, they're mindless. <laughs> so, like... You don't really come in here into the game like you would into, I don't know, Witcher or Skyrim or something where you're like, like oh no, I, what, what was my quest, what do they have to do? No, this is mindless fun uh, that you just perform. As you can see, actor gets up and crawls away. But it's just mindless fun. You bush buttons. I'm using an Xbox controller, so of course the PC version of the game is from Steam. So here we are encountering our first boss fight. First of all, actually, I'm not, I don't remember, maybe in Act, I haven't seen one, Act 1, whatever, there was a boss fight, not too sure about it, but this is a boss fight, and most boss fights really do look like this. You'll, there'll be lots of these minions that are spawned in by the, the boss, uh, or the huge guy at the end of the, each level. And basically, all you have to do is defeat the minions and kill the guy. Usually, they give you an objective to kill the big guy last or something like that. I had like three of these objectives, as far as I remember, in the first few acts. Where you had to kill the biggest guy last. Uh, because that goes, I guess, in the theatrical kind of aspect. You just kill boss last and that's what makes a great play I guess I should also mention that this game is pretty much meant to be a co-op game a two-player co-op but as I do not have anyone to co-op with at the moment uh, I, don't, I don't think any of my friends really own the game uh, I'm playing it by myself and it's it's solely playable it's solely doable entirely by yourself but it is really meant to be a co-op game that's why, like, even in the cutscenes, or I guess, whatever, you, if you can call them even cutscenes, in the, the little narration bits, there's two characters that pop out because it's it's totally about, you know, this main guy, Mr. Baron Dashforth and his, um, his I guess, minion, uh, going around demon hunting and whatnot. And this is a hilarious game. Like, if you really, if you read the story, you will love it. I mean, it's, it's hilarious. It's really British. It's totally like British comedy and it's... I mean, the main character... Look how British the main character is. I mean, just look at him. Look at him. He has a freaking moustache and monocle and mo monocule. Mo mo blah, 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 blah. You get the fucking point. And the top hat. I mean, that, that's as British as you get. So, as you can see, here's the other character. This guy. And I don't really... I never played as him because I, uh, I, I'm, I'm playing as one character. I'm pretty sure you can select him, but I mean, this guy is cooler, it seems for me. He's using a freaking cane to fight people, and the other guy's using a freaking... I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's a mop or some shit like that, so... Yeah. So you might be wondering how much do these companies want for this game, and it is $15 on Steam. I got it on a sale, I'm pretty sure it's $15, let me check, yeah, it's $14.99. I'm pretty sure I got it on the sale for around like 5 bucks or something like that, even probably cheaper. Uh, so, I mean, if it if it's your game, if you like brawlers, you're gonna like this game. This game is amazing. I'm personally, I'm not a big fan of brawlers because I really do get bored of them. Uh, but this this is it's a it's a fun game. I mean, it's it's a fun game. It's it's really well developed. It's fun. Uh, there's I guess a, kind of a lot of content in terms of like different settings and whatnot. I'm showing you the very first one, not to spoil anything. But you, there's settings where you go underwater, where you go into crypts and whatnot. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And the visual appeal of the game is fantastic. It's, the game is beautiful in its own little way. It's cartoony. It's uh, the theatrical aspect where it's all set on the stage is just amazing and adds a lot of to the to the game. A lot of appeal that really unique and you don't see this too often in games where you where you have those such appeal as this one in terms of uh, visuals. And so here we go, we just got to the actual proper boss fight of this uh, scene, this act. Uh, and as you can see, the there's a big guy, he has a giant health bar and you're just supposed to defeat him. You know, very standard stuff. How will I compare this game to other brawlers? Well, to start off, this game lacks a few things that I, I would say are quite essential for brawlers. 
For example, this game has no weapon pickups whatsoever. You do not encounter new weapons. You're, you're just stuck with the weapon you have, which is the cane or I guess the mop if you're playing as the other character. And that is the weapon you stick with till the end of the game. That, that's it. That's all you got. You do not pick up new weapons. Like you cannot pick up a weapon from your enemy, anything like that. That just doesn't happen. You, you are stuck with what you have uh, for the entire entirety of this game, which really does get repetitive. Honestly, I, I never beat the game because I just got bored of the how repetitive it got in terms of the combat. Because one, I'm not I, I'm not a big fan of brawlers, and so for me. If a brawler is going to keep me engaged in the game, it really needs to have like content, like weapon pickups, so I can play around with giant freaking bombs and what weapons, like giant katanas, whatever. Like that has to happen for me, for, for to the game, for me to be appealing. I cannot. I'm stumbling on my words now. So that's it. Lacks in that variety. It doesn't have the weapons pickups. You're really to change your style of the game. All it's all about. I don't know, you can't even look at it here, but all you do is you get new uh, new moves, new combos, and that's how you, I guess, stay entertained by the game. But for me, it doesn't do it, as I'm not a big, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it straight off, I'm kind of biased here, because I'm not a big fan of of brawler, brawlers, but I do see the appeal of, like, this game appeals to me, like, it's hilarious. And that's why I play this game, because it's funny. Like, I, I'm not a brawler fan, but for me, the game is funny. That's why I I play it. I mean, it's hilarious, and I like the story and whatnot. The brawling aspect, you know, it's just mindless game. You put it on, you play it for a bit, you drop it down, you leave. That's basically what the, what the game is for me. Uh, is it worth the price? I bought it for on the sale. So yes, for me, it was definitely worth the price. And here's an anchor. I'm not really sure what this is. I guess it's just to boost up your overall grade for the rest of the level, but I don't really understand how this works. So you have a timer, but you can extend the timer by hitting people more. I, I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me about this. It seems like a very strange, bizarre kind of idea. Uh, I guess it's a score booster. I, I don't, I really don't know. So at the end of the level, you get your summary, you get your star rating, you get your challenges, how many you completed, and then you get your fame. So there you go, that was Act 2 of Play 1. I'm going to start off with uh, Act 3 of Play 1, uh, just because I got a few more things I would like to cover in this video. So the developer of the game, uh, you know, made a, did a really good job. Developer Digital uh, are the people who made this game and developed it and published it. And, I mean, it's a it's a great game. There's I didn't, I didn't really encounter any glitches in it whatsoever. It, you know, it's a, it's a well done game. Uh, it's priced at fifteen dollars, which is not bad, which is actually pretty good. Um, it's a, it's a decent, you know, it's a decent price, especially if you are a fan of brawlers and different types of games like this. And if you have a buddy to play with this with, it's probably even more fun because the game uh, does feature what a lot of other brawlers do not do, because like the brawler normally in a brawler, you're like oh, you know what, co-op works really well in the really rare or well god i can't even speak really well in the brawler so we're gonna toss it in and this game uh does not do that developer digital really did a good job in terms of the co-op here as i did i, I don't i didn't play a co-op but i did watch uh some videos on it and the co-op looks looks really unique and really good because you have combo moves that in order to in order to actually you know like Perform, you need to synchronize with your call buddy. Like, you need to, like, I press A now, you press B now, and like, it's sort of like the guitar hero, hero style combos. That's how the developer compared it it's by themselves, and I think it's a good comparison to make because, and that is an interesting idea that doesn't really use in any game pretty much, and especially not in brawlers, which just tossing you in, two players, whatever, beat up more enemies. That's the co-op of most brawlers, and here it's actually using your co-op partner for a gameplay aesthetic. Uh, so that is always that's always nice, and to see such a change for a change, a unique uh, aspect that is not covered in most games. So who would I recommend this game to? That is probably a question you're wondering, and if I would recommend this game to. And yes, I'm definitely recommending this game to, and I would recommend this game to anyone who's a brawler fan, although you might get 
this game does get repetitive. I mean, that is, that is a problem with it. It does get repetitive. But if you're a Brawler fan, you, you're you pretty much used to it. And by now, and you, you will, you'll have fun with it, regardless of its repetitiveness. For me, as not a Brawler fan, you know, it got repetitive because there's no weapons pickups. There isn't really any abilities. All you do is you get new combos after you complete challenges and levels and whatnot, or acts, I'm sorry. Yeah, but the visual appeal of this game is fantastic, and I, I think everyone would pretty much enjoy it. Um, especially if I have a friend to play with. Uh, and uh, if you're, you know, if, if you have 15 bucks to spend, go ahead. And you're a Brawler fan, go ahead, spend it. You will like the game, for sure. If you are not a Brawler fan, but you like comedy games, like games that have really funny humor, that are British, because it's a freaking... It doesn't get much Britishier, Britishier. Yeah, that's a word now. Then this, I mean, this is pretty freaking British. Like this game is honestly British to the max. So if you you like British comedy, if you like comedy, you will also enjoy this game. But if you're not a brawler fan, this game might get repetitive for you, like it did for me. So I would recommend maybe waiting for a sale, getting it on a sale then. But definitely, this is a game that you should take a look at. It's interesting. It's quite unique in terms of the call aspect. It's not as unique in terms of the brawler aspect, especially that you don't have weapon pickups. That is my main concern of the game. But the visual aspect is beautiful. The entire thing that's set in a theater is unique, unique and just just fun. It's really good, good fun when it's set in such a such an aspect uh, in a in a theater. You can see the crowd and they're cheering and doing a bunch of other stuff. And especially when you get a really nice combo going and they start throwing the hats and going crazy, that really does feel good. And there's lots of hilarious stuff that happens, like a janitor will, will stand there be mopping the floor while you're trying to perform and they'll be like, oh shit, I gotta get out. And so it's, it's a hilarious game. You will like it if you're a Brawler fan. You'll most likely like it if you're not a Brawler fan because of the humor and the visual, visual appeal of the game. So go ahead, check it out, link in the description, make sure you also subscribe, uh, get my Subbox app, which will tell you whenever I upload a video, follow me on Twitter while I talk about random stuffs, as well as games I'll review, etc, etc, and check out my Twitch channel for live streams. And that's pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment, subscribe for more Super View and other series eyes. And just check out, check out this game. It's a pretty cool game. So yeah, show your support. Thumbs up if he, this helped you in any way. And I highly doubt that. I gotta sign out. I gotta do other stuff. And I'm gonna just keep smacking mummies in the face of a cane. So thank you very much. Super M, signing out.